client creation. So now we were able to log into the newly created client with SAP star with pass. So then after that, what? Sir, I logged into the newly created client. Then what? Then that is fine. Then how? Sir, as of now, I created the data in the, uh, I created the transactions or data in the triple zero or double zero one. I have data in this client. So can I get this data from one client to another client? Why? Because data is the client dependent data is there. So can I get the, this data from one client to another client? In this case, there is a concept is called the client copies, client copies here. They are the, so three types of client copies here, local client copy, then remote client copy, then client export and import local client copy remote client copy then client export and import so if i talk about the local client copy sir why we need this client copies here so the client concept is come to copy the suppose within the system suppose take example this is our nw1 system here you have the triple zero client here you have the double zero one client then a new client you created called the 100 client you created, but with empty data. When you create the client, you will get the empty data. Even you will not get any user, any data also. Just only client created. There is no data here. When you purchase the one tub, one bucket, you will get only bucket. You will not get the water inside of that bucket, right? You need to pour the water. Then how? Then you will copy the water from... So other, you will copy the water from other, uh, the main type to sub, sub bucket, you will copy it, right? Same as like here also, when you create the client, you will only get the new client, but not the data. Even for logging to the you, that client also, you do, you need to change the parameter value, then restart it, then only you can log into the newly created client. Sir, but that is user also we use for creation of the user also we faced multiple things then then how can i get that data as of now without knowing so i i done the my data copy my data so everything configurations and everything in the double zero one client i want to copy this data from one client to another client here is there any mechanism in sap yes that concept is called the client copies mechanisms so with this client copy mechanisms, you can copy local client copy means within the system, within the NW1 system. So within the NW1 system, you can perform the client copy from one client to another client. You can copy the data. One client to another client, you can copy the data. That is called the local client copy. Or why local? It's locally only you are copying, right? One client to another client. Within the system only you are copying from one client to another client. That is called the local client copy. Sir, which data? Sir, I don't want to all the data. I have some specific data means. Then you can also copy the specific data also. To perform the client copy, the steps are like, you need to log into the newly created client. The newly created client. You need to log into the newly created client with SAP star with pass. After that, you need to go to the SCCL is the transaction code for the local client copy. Local client copy, you can use it. Then after that, select the profile, which data you want to select it, select the profile. Then, then, then execute in, execute in, execute in. execute in so background mode execute in the background mode the job will be scheduled so then monitor the job in sm37 then check the locks in check locks in sc c3 transaction code here right so here so if you go to the suppose you logged into the newly created client 100 client then local client copy means within the system then SCCL, SCCL is the transaction code. See here, someone, the target client is a production. Then it protected against client copy, protected against client copy here. Yesterday, yesterday we done the changes in the system, right? In the 100 client, we created as a production client. Then no changes are allowed, right? 100 client. So then no changes are allowed. 
also we kept like client copy protection level is so no overwriting that's why we got the error message here right so that's why we got the error message here now we changed it back to the so then sccl local client copy production client still scc4 till it is production only This should be client copy means no over no restrictions. We need to keep the no restrictions here. So that got changed now here. So client copy got changed to the no restrictions here. So now you can able to copy the data here. Right? Production clients you should be the no restrict restrictions we have. But Non-production clients, it will be the, we can do the client copy. Production, you cannot do the client copies directly. So here, which client you want to do it, you need to log in to the target client here. Client copies are the pull mechanisms, P-U-L-L, pull mechanisms. So if you need the data to the client, which target client, then you need to log into the target client, then select the profile. Which profile? So the data in the system, they have segregated by the profiles. So if you use the SAP underscore cast, then only customization data you can copy. I want only users and their passwords should be copied from the 000 to 100 client means. Then you can use the users and passwords user option. I want to all the data, then SAP underscore all. I want only application data, then SAP underscore APPL. I want only customization data, then so which whatever the flavors you required, then you can select the respective flavor. Then, then which client, which is the source client from my need from the double zero one client. Then you can select it. Then you can schedule as a background job here, right? Or start immediately. If you start immediately in the dialogue mode, it will run it in the dialogue mode. That is not the recommended approach. Dialogue work process will take care of this one. If you run it in the background mode, background work process will take care of that one in the background, no impact on the system. If you do it in the dialogue mode, there is an impact on the system response time, it will be slow, right? There is a parallel pair of processes here. How many number of process you want to set here, right? So which means, so uh, number of, means if you want to parallelly Maybe there is a five dialogue work process. The four dialogue work process should copy the client copy means you can set up the four, four process here. Then you can select the, so the logon groups here. Then click on the save button, logon groups means I want four dialogues work process, four work process should process the request means you can select this one, click on the schedule as a background job here. Schedule as a background job here. Here, you see here, so client 001 also protected against the data export by the client copy. Yesterday I changed it, right? Then let me change it to the triple zero. Then select it here. Then immediately I want to run the job here. Then click on the continue button. Then background job is scheduled in SCC3. Right now client copy is in progress. If you go to the SCC3 transaction code, you will see the, the client copy is in progress here. Client copy is in progress here, right? Then how many, what is the local client copy? From 100 client to 100, some triple zero to 100 client data is copying. What data? SAP underscore user means only users data copying. How many processes are running? Three tables are copying the data. First three tables are copying the data. So then out of one or two tables, then 40 tables are copying. 40 tables are copied. Then click on the refresh button. Then it is completed. One or two, one or two tables are completed. See? If I set the parallel processing, maybe it's not more than one minute also. 8.19 you started, so 8, sorry, uh, so 8.19 you started, then 8.51 it is finished. So which means it's not only seconds, within the seconds duration, 40 seconds, within the 40, 40, 41 seconds, it got completed here, right? Suppose that is called the, it completed very quickly. The data got created means how many tables copied one or two tables. Then this is the copied here. Now in the triple zero, whatever the data is there, users data, all the data is available here. All the data means only users data is available here. 
that's what we can say it here right so that is what here we can see right suppose if i don't set the parallel processing again i will go to the sccl local client copy i don't set the parallel processing here i will run it normally i don't need to parallel processing here so just click on the save button click on the background processing immediately so then schedule the background job here then there is a sm37 there is a one background job will be created here sm37 there is a one background job that is called the client copy is running here right only 34 seconds duration right so now when you go for the scc3 at a time only now it is see it is doing only 49 tables here it is copied right so let's see how much time it will take it here only 76 78 79 tables 83 tables right 83 tables 86 tables 91 tables very fast so here tables are copying means tables data is getting copied here right it's done so almost one minute one minute so almost one minute so five five seconds left so less one minute it taken here so which parallel processing means little bit the speed will be increased so multiple process will process it that is secondary but local client copy is locally copying the data from one client data to another client is called the local client copy whatever the data whatever the profile you select it here in the sccl whatever the client you select it here either user data you want to copy that is fine i don't want to user data i want to all the customization data then you can select the customization i want all the data i want to copy then you can select the all the data it will take some time i don't want why because all the data means definitely it will take some time to copy the data right so i don't want i want only application data i want to copy then you can select the application data then from which client to which client triple zero to hundred client then select it but if you select in the dialog mode what will happen the screen will be red the screen will be so the screen will be hung status here the screen will be hung status like this until we you finish the copy the data screen here screen is hung status here it is running in the dialog mode so if it is running in the dialog mode this will create the problem means performance issues in the system it will happen the performance issues in the system see still it is running so you cannot do until completion of one hour two hours three hours you have to stay in the system itself only that is the reason it's not recommended to run in the dialog mode if you run it in the background mode background work process will take care of that one you no need to do background work process will take care of that one so that is the reason when you now if you go to the here the response time will be increased see the response time got 1053 milliseconds here why because back end the client copy is running here client copy is running here that is the reason that is the reason here see it is still it is running only one percent is done but tables are processing see how many tables are getting processed here so the tables will get processed here so basically local client copy locally copying the data from one client to another client within the system either triple zero to from 100 client to triple suppose if you need the data to the uh, suppose if you need the data to the suppose like there is a 200 client also you created you need the data to 200 client then you need to log in to the 200 client then we execute the sccl is the transaction code then select the profile then you can pull the data from 100 client to 200 client that is also possibility right so only which client only newly created client only so only data is required for the newly created client why because when you create the client only data will come sorry only client will be created not the data then in this case then in this case it will be difficult right we don't have any data then if we don't have data then it will be difficult to do the transactions and everything then so but data is there in the other clients then you can copy the data so using the client copies mechanisms you can copy the data from other client to this client by using the client copy mechanisms right so here what mechanisms 
within the system, right? Then that's fine. So within the your device, from you can copy the data from the download folders to document folder, documents to the download folder, or pictures, wherever you want, you can copy within the system only. You don't require to strain, right? So then that is also possible from system, right? So local client copy means within the system, maybe within the city, from one place to another place, you can transfer the data. You can transfer the courier. That is called the local client copy. One client to another client. From any client to any client, fine. But only we need the data to the newly created client, right? Then log in to the newly created client. Then SCP star with pass. Then you can use the local client copy. SCCL for the local client copy. Then you can transfer the data. That is called the local client copy. Okay. Got it? Any questions, anyone? Yeah, we can select source client as any client as a triple zero or double zero one in client copy. Yeah, any client data to any client data you can copy. Source is any, target is any, you can copy it. But there should be some data should be required in the source. Otherwise, how can you pull the data? If you don't have the data, then you cannot, you do you know, nothing will come to the 100 client. So if you have the, some data, you think like there is a data is there here. I want to copy this data to the 100 client means for the testing purpose. Then you can copy the data to under the, the here to here. Okay. If like this for any other operation, we have to do any other client transformation like trans TMS or trans clients. Saint also like this, we need to select any client. Saint. Saint means that is a plugin patching, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Transports will come to the same flavor, like same uh, subject only. That is the updated changes will move to. This is the client, entire client data. Here, what is yeah. happening here, when you are copying the data from the 001 to 100 client, so first it is copying the data if any data is already there that will delete the data in the 100 client then it will copy the fresh data from the 001 to here but transport is it won't delete the data then just it will add the whatever the new object that will be added on top of the existing data existing bucket so this is okay. the full whatever the day whatever the water is there inside of the 100 client then all will be flushed out it will be removed, then it will copy the fresh water from the 001 to 100 client, it will copy. Yes, as part okay. of the client copy. The next concept is the transport administration. In the transport administration, you will come to know what is the transport, how the object will move to the one client to another client or one system to another system. That is the separate concept. That time you will get more on the transport. Now you can just only concentrate on the client copies. Only copying the one client data, all the data or all the data or specific data or so whatever the flavors you want to copy as per your requirement you can copy it okay. is there any option when you're creating a client where it creates a client from like an existing client while it's copying it kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, that's the option I understand, but we don't have that options actually in SAP as of now. Maybe in the okay. future they may come up, but as of now we don't have so that type of options in SAP. Create the client with existing data that we don't have the options. Okay. Okay, so one more thing here I want to inform to everybody 